Right now at five, several major developments about the massive apartment fire that was set on purpose. Today, police made an arrest and our cameras were rolling as that suspect was escorted to jail. This says the Red Cross is rallying for more resources to help the 130 people left homeless. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is at the scene with the latest developments. Well, we know that Lopez is facing multiple counts of attempted murder and arson. And out here at the scene, you can still see crime scene tape and the damage done to the roof. Tonight, we're also getting an update about how all those displaced families are doing. So I was asleep, and then my husband woke me up to tell me there was a fire, and it was the blink of an eye. New the faces an after eye. the flames coming forward tonight. He just did it. He didn't even think of the children. Reacting through a translator to this man who's now accused of igniting this living nightmare. Get out of the building! Jesus Lopez facing multiple counts of arson and attempted murder, but some residents say that's not enough. I don't like the fact that he's only getting charged with two attempted murders. It's 130 of us. That's right, 130 people forced from their homes after the massive apartment fire. Tonight, 51 still receiving shelter from the Red Cross, including 15 children. At a nearby church, the organization now rallying for help from community leaders and others, asking for things like food, furniture, and clothing. And one of the biggest challenges, finding affordable housing. They were paying four to $700 a month for rent. And it's going to be tough to find something like that now. So that's why we are asking our community partners for some help. Meanwhile, the man accused of causing all the damage will be finding a home, at least for now, behind bars. Lopez is scheduled to have his first court appearance at 1 tomorrow afternoon. If you have any additional information about the case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.